Hello guys, and welcome back to the episode of Everland 2, where I honestly don't know what we're doing. Still, I, I don't know. I mean, the only thing I think of is going back and talking to those girls. There's got to be some sort of line of dialogue I need to go through. Also, I did find something out. And it was about if I talk to a certain person, there is actually an achievement in this um, town. But what the hell happened to my hair? <laughs> Let's put on the, the, the um, earphone quickly. I want to try to find that person now. Let's see if I can set the achievement off. And that's where I already got it. I might have already got it. Wait, if I do this, does that bring our stuff up? Hang on. Yeah, I can bring up. I'm bringing up my overlay at the moment. Uh, two seconds. No, I don't think I have. Okay, close. There we go. Oh my sweet. One day I'll take you far away from the smoke fumes, all the way to Sylph Forest where the time still stands still. Where time stands still. I live will be eternal there. She's giggling. Oh, it's so romantic. But I'd rather go hiking on the frozen continent with our love to warm our frostbitten bodies. I am your faithful knight. Your wish is my command. Oh my love. Oh my darling. Cheesy. How about I invite... <laughs> How about I invite my mother to come along? And just like that, she backs off. How about we forget the whole thing? Yeah, I thought it was a bit of um, the White Knight Mommy's Boy. Right. I swear. Okay, so pretty much the achievement is something about Rapture from Bio. It's a Bioshock reference. But I thought it would have been speaking to her. Apparently not. That's already got it. Who are you? Uh, no, no, we spoke to you already. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I might have already done it, or... So this isn't actually Everland 2, it's the Legendary Edition. So maybe it was an Everland 2 achievement and not actually part of the... That would make sense. Well, I thought they would have just trans... I thought they would have just sent the achievements over, but... Oh well. Yeah, I reckon that this is her. The one looks like Elizabeth, I reckon you speak to her. Yeah, I'm guessing it's her. Right, let's go find those kids. We need that key. That's the library, that's not the... Where's the tavern? That's here. Do, do, do. Okay, here we go. In we go. I've just realised that I'm covering the health bar and stuff. Hang on. Now, this is a bad position for me to be in, isn't it? I apologise. I apologise. I've not noticed that. Um, I'm going to be down here for now. Right. There we go. No, I didn't realise. My bad. Um, I can't tap back in. Why can't I tap back in? No, I can't. There we go. But no, it's nothing. It's empty. I gotta speak to you, I think. Huh? Who are you? Why are you doing an IHQ? I want to help you. So? You wanna help us? Do what exactly? I just need the key. Say. You know what? I like people who are direct. Who knows what, who knows what they want? A lot of people are direct who know what they want. So, say you find this, say we, you find this key of yours, like maybe in a safe or a chest or something, and maybe use it to get into the library. And in the library, say you find no a book, 
in this purely hypothetical scenario, would you bring it to us? Yes. You promise? Yes. Cross your heart here today? Yes. Like, do you promise in your life? Yes. Oh, I think we'll get along just fine. Keep your promises and you'll have nothing to worry about. You got the key to the library. So I went on looking around, it was generally speaking to them and get the right dialogue. But I thought I had to find out about the key first before I actually got that option. So... I went in the wrong order pretty much, that's why I got confused. Elizabeth! Yeah, okay, there's definitely no challenge. I keep speaking to her, it's definitely no challenge. None at all. We got the key, right? Where is it? Use your house, keep the library. What we got? Can we speak to okay, we're gonna to speak to these guys automatically. I don't have a choice. The Dean, welcome to the Genova Library. I suppose you're the new students. No. Oh, are you sure? Hmm, well if you're here, it means you've come to learn something important. Or learn, learn something not important. I don't know where I got that word from. So, in practice, at least you are students. I'm the Dean of the Genova Library. We researchers devote our lives to extremely important matters. For example, find out why it itches when one is bitten by a mosquito. But we're not concerned about finding oh, we're not concerned about finding a cure for such, or such, or such nonsense. Ugh. Knowing why it itches is clearly more interesting. By the by, I will discuss my own research when time permits. I am an expert in the study of ancient Magi civilization, specifically the legends surrounding the use of strange powers in late antiquity. Before I can ta tell you about your about that, coffee. Do I start some? No. I had a drop. But before I can tell you all about that, you need to complete your studies. It's just that. Look, Professor. We're in a quite. We're in quite a hurry, and oh, quiet. You are students, and in the library, you must submit to your professor's authority. Unless you do not wish to learn anything. In which case, get out. Please forgive student Menos, Mr. Dean, sir. We'd be delighted to follow your lessons. In particular, the ones about the Magaliths. Right, Menos? Yes. Well then, if you're determined, let us let us begin. You must receive credit for six core disciplines courses in various fields. To do so, you need only speak to my research colleagues in the library. Each of them will submit a problem allowing you to get credit for a particular subject. You can choose your own curriculum so you're under no obligation to do all of them, but I may have a little reward if you complete all eight. We're doing all eight. Did you get a work? Yes. Splendid. Have fun studying then. Come back when you've when you're done. But no sooner than that, I simply hate being disturbed. <laughs> right with my old professor. I always love studying, it's fun. I always hated it. Hmm, seems to know much about the magi. Maggie. He will certainly have much to tell us about the maglifts. Are you a new pupil? I've took up a strange relic of a me mechanism on it. I can't get a handle on. Do you have a few minutes to spare? Yeah, sure. You're too kind. Here, this strange item was found in some ancient Heredian ruins. There is no lock on it, save for this bizarre keyboard set with symbols. You would do me a great disservice by opening it. Mysterious relic. This chest will open after the 16 buttons are pressed in the right order. The gold button must be triggered last. 
Which button must be which, which must which button must be present first to unlock the mechanism? Ah. Hmm. That one. 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 Hmm. That one. I think this is the answer. Let me just double check. That one. <laughs> I love the press letter references. Oh, I need, I need to get the last two press letter games. I really want to play it again. I want to play the whole entire series again. Professor, Professor, eh, Professor Layton was so fun to play. Oh, thank you dearly. That was not so difficult after all. No, I'll grant you your archaeology credits. Greetings, young man. Research is attached to the militia at your service. Speaking of service, how can I? How about you do me one? Sure. What do you want? Perfect. The Council of Traders has tasked me with implementing a new patrol system for the militia. Well, these are all going to be puzzles. This could be awesome if they are. I'm convinced, but there's a flaw somewhere. This is definitely this game was definitely inspired by Professor Layton. Wait, let me show you. Ah, oh, I need more games like this. Number five, patrol. RPG mixed with a puzzle game? That's amazing. After leaving Guardian, each patrol must research one of the seven watchtowers. Uh, after leaving the guard ring, sorry, each patrol must reach one of the seven watchtowers. Okay. Okay, um... So the guard ring X. That's the castle. Okay. A troll, a troll may go down any path, but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. Also, it can never use the same path twice. If this is always the procedure, one of the towers will never have a garrison. Which one? Oh, right. Can I get the rules repeated? Oh, that's a lot to take in. If I follow a path, one of them will never be visited. So you got to stop at each sixth one, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So let's say it went left first. Got A, B, C, D, E, and F. But then G will be missing. But they can never go back on themselves as well. So if they went to A, G, F, E, D, C, then B will be missing. If they went to F, E, D, and G, A, B. I need the rules repeated. Can I get a repeat? Yes. I want the rules repeated. Oh, okay, I failed it. Yes, I wanted the rules repeated. Hang on. After leaving the guardroom X, each patrol must reach one of seven watchtowers. A patrol may go down any path, but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. Okay. Also, can never use the same path twice. If this is always a procedure, one of the towers will never have a garrison. Which one? Hmm. 
So I can never go back down the same path. So I can never go back on myself. So, G and the first scenario got A, B, C, D, E, F, as I said at the start. That G will be the missing one there. But they can still go to G if they went from A to G. Then F, E, D, and C, and B will be missing. What if F, E, D, C, B, A, and A will be missing? But one of these would never be reached. Because I could go A, B, C. Look at A, B, C, D, E. Sorry, A, B, C, D, G, F, and E will be missing. What was the first rule? I could ever go up or down a path? I'll do E first. It's wrong. Oh, was it? I was right. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm your depth now, so if you ever have a problem, come by and see me. Okay. My first... Okay, I was right. That's fucked fine. I'm off to start drafting my report to the council. You fully deserve us credit for military operations. I'll do it again. No. Okay, it wasn't actually a guess. I was going to go for E, because it would have seemed more logical to go for E than any of the others. I mean, I couldn't find a definite reason to go for it, but it seemed more like E was... The one to go for. No time to chat, too much to do. So I guess it was technically a guess. Unless you are prepared to lend me a hand. So here, here's the thing. Every 500 years, two comets meet in the heavens. The books on the subject indicate that the next occurrence is a very night. I wouldn't miss it for the world, but unfortunately I cannot figure out what part of the sky they'll be visible in. Here, look at this map. Stellar encounter. Okay. When the two comets arrive, they will cross the map only diagonally, okay? They will not interested in any star they will not intersect any star present even before or after they meet. So it needs to be a clear path. Got it. I can see one already. In which square will they meet? Well, so I'll clear one, two, three. Oh, actually, I could use... Ah, no, I couldn't use this line cut stars there. So they have to use one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two... Hmm. I might be wrong on this one. So I can see a path here as well. That one. Damn! Hmm. I don't believe that's the right answer. If you know, don't I think if you know the right answer, you don't need me even, do you? Honestly, God. Okay, books of the subject. Okay, I need the rules back up. Stellar encounter. When two comets arrive, they will cross the map only diagonally. Okay, I understand that part. They will not intersect any star present either before or after they meet. In which school they meet. So there's no rules on them. So the only rule is they've got to be diagonal. And they can't cross any stars. So they can intersect each other on parallel, I guess. Well, no, they have to run, they couldn't run parallel. They have to intersect each other somewhere. as well. Because if I look here, I can't show you the cursor, but I'm thinking diagonal here, so it can go that way. Or it can go that way. Or it can go that way. Oh, it could be a simple there. That's still diagonal. It wouldn't cross for nothing. Oh, using your brain is powerfully bad. Right. Hmm. 
Hmm. So at first I thought it would cross that one and that one. That's originally my thing, but they don't actually cross there, so I need them to cross on the same square. So what square? Hmm. I don't know. It's just finding that one square. Wait, hang on. This one here as well? Oh, that's what I pointed out earlier. Wait, I've got it. It's there. Got it. Yeah! Of course, how could I miss that? Thank you for your help. Not to award you a credit to the astronomy. Thanks for the reason why you're about Professor Layton. You have hints at using Professor Layton to pass stuff, so I didn't read the question properly. Or the rules. Oh, hey man. Are you by a chance a standard engineer they sent to help me out? No, but I can do engineering. What do you want? Sure, take your time. Sure took your time, didn't you? I should have said no. Hey, what's, what's up? Uh, we've got the replace of Tantor Piping Network. Kind of like crazy to come up with the best outline for connecting the... I'm trying like crazy to come up with the best outline for connecting all the junctions, but it's, it's getting warm in here. Hang on. I'm tripping for you guys, don't worry. Just avert your eyes and you won't go blind. Alright. Let's get rid of that. Put it there for now. There we go. Oh, that's better. Nice and cooler. And by that, I mean temperature's gone down. Not my appearance. That actually just got worse. I'm trying like crazy to come up with the best outline for connecting all the junctions. But it's a real brain teaser. Okay, I'm good at brain teasers, I think. Go on, take this map and get working. Piping! You must connect points A and B of a network of pipes. The junctions are green, cannot be moved. <laughs> but all must be connected to the final network. Move the pipes to create a single network that goes through every area of the map. Right, okay. So these don't need moving, they're fine. This though... How do I rotate? Oh, do I swap? Right, okay. Actually, that makes it easier, doesn't it? Because now I can just do this. Oh, every area of the map. Okay, never mind. You know what I'm thinking? The best thing to do then would just be to go like that and get a bunch of straights on the go. Oh, yeah, that goes. Yeah, like that. But yeah, then use that to go up. And then swap that one of them. Oh, do we have a down one? We do. No, because now we do a straight here. So if I get this one there, and we need an up piece there. Oh, these aren't four way pipes. I didn't realise that. Oh, it's all worked out so far, though. Um, can I rotate them? I don't think I can. Hmm. I may have shot myself on the foot with this one already, because that... Oh, these can't be swapped. These are stationary. Oh, okay, that makes things a lot more tricky. I did not know that. Okay, so what we can do. That's fine, get there. Yeah, I didn't know that. Which means we're better off having a straight here instead. So if I move straight here. I can't. Yeah, oh, that's right. I can't. Um, I have to go there then. So that has to be a curvy part, which makes this square here the most difficult one to try and sort out. 
Unless there's a freeway piece somewhere. No, it's not. Hmm. Joe, you know I would love to play Professor Layton on the channel at some point. I think that is a game I would love to do. Maybe if I put... Okay, let's swap some of this over. So that goes there, because it's going through every part, so... So if I do this backwards, I might not have figured this out, actually. Do we have a down and right piece anywhere I can use for that one there? Because now I need a straight there. And now we need another down part so there. Followed by that, which will probably go straight into like that. Then we need an up part, so you come here and go there. No, up part would be great, followed by one of you to go there. Now, one of them. Ah, there we go. One of you. Ah, but now that one's blocked off. Hmm. So we go straight there, like that. And then... Okay, I think this has to be like that. Then, okay, let's put you in there like that. But you can't, because now you need to be straight across, like so. Ah, ha 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 ha. Hmm. Okay, so that makes it clear. I need to start this with that and that. That has to start like that. Which means that has to be like that. You guys see my brains are going... They're probably going to blow up. Um... Okay, I've got it. I've got it. So that goes there. Uh, we need another piece. Like that. Followed by that and that. Done it. Yes. I should, have, I should have named him Luke. That was the kid's name from Professor Layton. Professor Layton what, the um, Layton's Apprentice, it was Luke. I can't remember. I think it was. Oh, it's been so long since I played it. I need to play it again. Ah, perfect. I was afraid it would take all day. Thanks, man. Just got to hand the plans over to my assistant when he gets back. Whatever that is. You definitely earned your civil engineering credit. I wonder if there's a way I could play Professor Layton on the PC. I could do it on my channel then, because I love I love Fresh It's just a great game. If you guys haven't played it and haven't played it and love puzzle games, definitely try it out. The library holds so many books, it's almost sorted miraculously. So miraculously, meticulously? Metic yeah, I can't. Even. Never mind. I'm gonna try and pronounce that. I'm in charge of the archives, but because such a collection can be perfectly sorted. I've ever title of an archivist. It's a little joke dating back to the Imperial era. At any rate, I have a tidy relationship. I have a tidy related conundrum that has me at my wit's end. I haven't slept for three nights. Three way can't solve it. Well, would you like to give it a try? Let's give it a go. All right, let's do it. The obsessive sort. One of the books in the library is in its place. Can you spot which one? Hmm. That looks more like a folder to me than a book. But I could be wrong. I was wrong.
I always thought it was going to be an appearance based one, but I guess not. Though. Is there a joke one somewhere? A little hidden. No. Book it's out of place. Is it to do a colour? Um Well no two colours are touching, or just no two colours are the same or touching, maybe it's that. Makes it do the lines. Is it the position of the lines? Oh, it might. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. I thought it was all one on one side and three on the other, but no. I saw these. So it's not that either. Hmm. Which one of these books is not like the other? I think this one is different from the rest. Could be. No. I'll think about it some more tonight. Come back if you get to do strikes you. Okay, I need a bit more information to go on. This puzzle's just saying the obsessive sort. One of the books of the library isn't in its place. Can you spot which one? No, I can't. That's the problem. There's not much to go on. Maybe... What are features these books have that are all in common? Let's go back to the colour thing. Is there any other, is there any duplicate colours next to each other? Lines either. Actually, there any duplicate books? If you look at the colours, none of them seem to match. Unless it's still I'm highlighting them. No, okay, they're not getting highlighted, so yeah. Look for colours. Colours might be the answer here. Green. Like this green. Is that the same? I think it is. We're gonna try it. We'll try both of them. The only two colours that look like the same shade to me. We need a new way to do it, we just go for all one by one and guess them. But you, if impress the later, you'd lose points for doing that. So, try and solve this in the way it's supposed to be solved. I don't know. Is it a height? One, two, three, one, two, three. 
Take down big, one, two, three. No, hard enough to do it. Ooh, is there a line somewhere where a line shouldn't be? Or maybe a book has all lines on one side and then on the other. That purple book. Don't see any other book like that. Because that's perfect, isn't it? Lines perfectly in the centre. Yeah. Might be the answer. No. I just feel like I've got no information. I'm brain straight going to visuals. I'm blocking up text as well. I've just... Oh. Here. Um, hang on. I'll do this again. <laughs> the option was there. Um, library held so many books in almost to be sort of Ah, I understand. I understand. I love puzzle games, but this is really getting to me now. I'm smarter than this, come on. Think this through. Is there a clue in the background somewhere, which I have not noticed? No. Not what I can see, at least. Damn. I need a bit more information on this. Because all these books are four lines. That is a fact. Four, 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 four. Yep. They all have four lines. Yeah. We've all got a big sticker. Yep. Hmm. And they are all rectangular. Is there a pattern to the lines? There's got to be a pattern to the lines. Surely. Or maybe all these books have do maybe these books, all these lines in these books have a have a counterpart. So maybe that is the same on another book. Let's go with for instance. Look, got two there, sticker two, two there, sticker there, two sticker two. So maybe it is the lines itself. Maybe the lines of Yata. See, this counterpart's got a counterpart here. It's just upside down. And if that was the case, this doesn't have a counterpart. And we've already tried that one and it was wrong. So that theory's already out the window. Yeah, I was just quickly looking through to make sure that proved my theory. There's no other like that. Let me try that one. So that would have been the other one out of my theory. And that wasn't it. That wasn't it. I'm going to say... I might end up just clicking through these. 
But I don't want to. I want to solve this. I don't want to cheat myself out of this victory. But, I will end the episode here, guys. Ah, if you guys think you know the answer, drop it in the comments below. If you don't know, feel free to share your confusion like I am. Um, I wasn't actually expected to get stumped. Mm. Oh, one of these puzzles. I guess that's why we need to complete six rather than the fillet, but I want the fillet because I want the extra special gift. Um, I will try and solve this because I'm enjoying myself a lot now doing these puzzles, so I am going to do another recording straight afterwards, so I want to get straight into this again. So, even you know, if you do put your comments down below, I'm just curious to see if you guys figure it out before you watch the next episode, so. On that note, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, also subscribe, they both really help me out a lot, and also share the video around. It's all, much appre it's all very much appreciated, and again, all helps me out a lot. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever I make. Cheers for watching. Thank you.